Today we are going to be learning about prime factorization. Before getting into prime factorization, there's a few things we need to go over, a few terms of importance. First of all, you need to know what a factor is. Okay, you can almost see the word factor in factorization. In fact, you can see the word factor in factorization. A factor is basically any number that you can multiply together. Okay, in this case, 3 and 5 are both factors because you're multiplying them together to give you a product or the answer to a multiplication problem. Another important piece of information is prime and composite numbers. A prime number is basically any number whose only factors are one in itself. Seven's a good example of a prime number. The only way I can get an answer of seven with multiplication is to multiply seven times one. That makes it a prime number. On the other side, we have composite numbers. A good example of this would be the number six. There's two different ways we can get to 6. 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. Since it has more than one set of factors, it's considered a composite number. Prime factorization. Basically what we're doing with prime factorization is we're building something called a factor tree, which is a lot like what it sounds like. We're building a tree of the factors of 36. Our goal in a factor tree is to get our bottom row equal to all prime numbers and that's why it's important that we went over that term first. When starting my factor tree I'm going to think of two numbers that can multiply together to give me 36. I can start with any two it doesn't matter because when I get to my bottom line it's all going to end up the same anyway. I'm going to choose 6 times 6. 6 times 6 gives me 36. Now I'm building branches out. Now it's important with each line or each branch that you go out that you make sure it's equal to 36 so that you're not making any mistakes. All right, 6 times 6 gives me 36, so I'm on the right track. Now, once again, if you remember, my goal for a factor tree is to get all prime numbers. So we have to see if 6 is a prime number. We know from earlier that it's not. We can get to 6 in another way other than 6 times 1, and that is 2 times 3. So 6 is a composite number. So I'm going to break it down even further, and you can see how our tree starts coming together. Once again, I'm going to break this 6 down as well to 2 times 3. Okay, now we have to look at our next line to see if this is equal to 36. 2 times 3 gives me 6, 6 times 2 is 12, and 12 times 3 is 36, so we are on the right track. Once again, I have to check to see if I have all prime numbers. Is 2 a prime number? Yes, it is. The only way we can get to 2 through multiplication is 2 times 1. Is 3 a prime number? Yes, it is. The only way I can get to 3 is multiplying 3 times 1. So I have all prime numbers, so my bottom line is done. One more step to prime factorization, and that is combining any like terms. As you can see, I'm just rewriting this bottom line so that my numbers are grouped together. I have two twos down low, and then I have two threes as well. I'm going to combine these into exponential form. So thinking back to exponents, two tells me the number I'm multiplying together, and my exponent tells me how many times I'm multiplying two. Two to the second power. Once again, three, my base tells me what number I'm multiplying, and two, my exponent tells me how many times I'm multiplying three together. This would be your final answer as prime factorization.